Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture reading with the Yabajin. And today's scripture reading is James, or Yaakov, chapter 5, and it reads as follows. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cries, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of Yahuwah Sabaoth. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he does not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of Yahuwah. Behold, the husbandman waits for the precious fruit of the earth and has long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of Yahuwah draws nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge stands before the door. Take, my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of Yahuwah, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Eov, and have seen the result of Yahuwah in the life of Eov, that Yahuwah is very pitiful and of tender mercy. But above all things, my brethren, swear not falsely, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath. But let your yea be yea, and your nay, nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the called out assembly and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of Yahusha. And the prayer of belief shall save the sick and our Adonai shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Eliyahu was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converts the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Hallelujah. As you go throughout your day today, make sure to give the Most High Yah first place in every single area of your life. Give him the highest esteem. Hold him in high esteem. Love him. Praise him. Worship him. Bless his set-apart name. Give him the hallelujah. Praise today. Have a blessed day, everyone. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.